Right, we are live now. Oh, let's get started. Namaste, everyone. Welcome to Hindi New City. Uh, really excited to have all of you this Sunday. Um, as you know, my name is Ashutosh, and we meet every Sunday at uh, 8 a.m. US Pacific time, which is time on the the west coast of the the US. Um, and for those of you who are new to Hindi University, you can learn more about us by going to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Hindi University, uh, where you will find all the, the prior recorded videos and the playlist, uh, Hindi learning playlist for all levels. And for those of you who are interested in joining the, the live classes that we have every Sunday, <clears throat> you can get all the details from this page, which is tiny.cc slash Hindi University. Not only you will get the, the details to join the Sunday class, you will get details for all the, the practice sessions that we have where you get to interact with uh, people at your level from beginners to advanced level. So I highly encourage you to check out this uh, this link that we have tiny.cc slash Hindi University. Um, and then you will find the details of the, 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 the class, the practice sessions and the books that you've been following um to learn about the hindi language okay um as you know that i am literally dividing the class into two sections the first half of the class is for complete uh, beginners and second half of the class is intermediate and above okay so we're trying to have this blended curriculum to to meet the requirements of you know all the participants um for beginners we have been covering two books as you all know first one is pingu learns hindi and the second book is, uh, you know, Elementary Hindi from Professor Richard Delacy. He teaches Hindi at the, uh, you know, Harvard University, a pretty popular book that we have. And for the intermediate and above, you know, we are covering a blended curriculum from Usha Jain. Uh, she's a prof, she used to be, uh, you know, professor at the UC Berkeley. And then Kavita Kumar, that's another, like, you know, uh, popular Hindi book and um, similarly Professor Rupert Snell. So it's a blended curriculum that I've been following. Plus we are also focusing a lot more on Hindi listening skills. So we take a particular topic, we learn about it. Then I go over a detailed explanation slash write up about on that particular topic. Okay. I speak slowly, you guys listen, you process it and you tell me what I spoke in Hindi. Okay. Uh, so that's what we've been covering. Uh, classes are pretty interactive. So at any point you have any questions, you know, you feel free to to ask those questions. Okay. What are we going to do for today's class? Uh, today's class is going to be a little bit shorter and I'll tell you why. So today we'll be covering mostly the 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 abstract noun in Hindi versus adjectives. And what are the templates that we've been you that you can use uh, for both of them? Okay. Um, we'll also talk about the plan for next week. So those of you who are relatively new, who may not have followed the previous conversation, next week we have a special guest in the class. Uh, you know, Professor Rupert Snell. Uh, as you know, he is one of the top linguists when it comes to the Hindi language. Uh, so he'll be joining us. He graciously agreed to to join us. Uh, next week and interact with everyone uh, so we'll go over the, the plan on how do we structure the class you know if some of you are interested in asking him any questions or getting guidance from him directly uh, we'll, we'll cover that as well so i'm really excited about like professor rupert snell i spoke with him and, and he was very interested as well okay and uh, lastly i will talk about the 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 practice group and what are the other ways to to scale the practice group because WhatsApp, we are hitting a roadblock, right? It's been hard to, to manage multiple groups, right? So we'll discuss about that, okay? With that in mind, let me just get started. That's a lot of an administrative stuff. So now I'm gonna just directly jump to the, the thing that I like most, which is the Hindi discussion, right? So um, let's talk about abstract noun versus the, uh, the adjectives. So we'll do adjectives versus abstract noun. So first I'll go over in, in English, then we'll talk about the, the differences in, in Hindi and examples. So when we talk about adjectives, we learn about adjectives as like a concept that modify your nouns or the pronouns, okay? It gives quality to your noun and pronoun. Like, you know, we, we learn about the examples like achha, bura, chota, bada, right? 
So in English, if you were to give an example, it can be good. Right? So it can be a good boy or a good girl, right? Um, or you can have a lovely, okay, a lovely boy or a lovely girl, right? The parallel or equivalent pair of that, you know, in abstract noun would be love. Like, so where you have, like, the origin could be the same, but lovely in this case is an adjective that is giving quality to your noun or pronoun. Love is basically an abstract noun that you cannot really uh, touch. Uh, or uh, basically, you cannot really touch or see it. That's your abstract noun. Okay. Um, high level, that is basically your, you know, the, 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 the definition, right? You talk about, similarly, if you talk about happy being your adjective, happy, it's a feeling. The equivalent abstract noun would be state of being happy. What do you guys think? Happiness. Very good. Happiness. Happiness. That's your abstract noun. You cannot touch happiness. You cannot see it. Okay. It's a state of being happy. Okay. I'm writing this so you can see the pairs. And right after these, the distinction is clear in everyone's mind. We will learn about the same thing in Hindi. Right. Uh, let's talk about some more. So just like we have happy, happiness, lovely, love, you have sad, it would be? What do you guys think? State of being sad for a long term. Sadness. Sad. Very good, sadness. That's your pair of your abstract noun. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do some more so that way, you know, because all of them we will be learning in Hindi soon. Then you have tired. And the pair would be, as you can tell, tiredness. It's not always follow this pattern of ness, where you just put any double s at the to your sort of adjective and you get the abstract tongue. Sometimes it's different. Okay. How is it different? Let's say you have clear. Can anyone guess what will be the pair for clear when it comes to the uh, the abstract noun? Clarity. Very good, very good, right? Clarity, very good, clarity. So one rule was in English it was following N E double S. And the second one is it has I T Y E T clarity. Okay. Um, now if you were to use it in English, you will say I'm clear. I have no doubt I'm clear. Okay versus I have clarity, something that you have, I have clarity, okay? Similar pattern you will follow in Hindi, okay? Uh, I am good, you know, he is lovely, she is happy, they are sad, okay? You will say something like, you know, uh, something, you will not really say, you know, I have happiness or I have sadness, but like something that is the the subject is sort of feeling for the long term. Okay, they're in the state of sadness, happiness, and they have clarity. Okay. Um, now, the pattern that we will use, as you can tell, is in Hindi or in English, you will say, I am clear versus I have clarity. Okay, as by now you might have guessed. In the previous classes, we learned about a very simple formula, which is you have subject may ending with your to be form of the verb whom, okay, versus I have clarity. You will use the post position ko, okay, and you will say may plus ko, which could be much ko, and then you will end with he, ko, okay. So you will say, Jan Priyanji, how will you say? May? May happy who? May kushi. May, okay, may kush who? We'll learn about it. Versus? Mujko kush pan hai? Kushi hai. Kushi hai. Mujhe kushi hai. 
ओके खुशी है विल गो ओवर ऑल दी पैटर्न इन हिंदी बट यू नो डी डी हाउ टू से इट इन हिंदी बट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इट क्लियर सो मैं खुश हूँ वर्सेज मुझको खुशी है ओके वह क्लियर है वर्सेज उसको क्लैरिटी है हिंदी right and you will be like you know i learned about you know sad being udas udas is sad and then udasi sadness okay it's very natural to use it like this mujhko udas yeah. hai versus main udasi you know hoon and it's very hard to then explain why you cannot do that like just like in english you cannot do that you don't do that like similarly in hindi also that's why it's important to know the the distinction between the adjective versus abstract noun okay um now um any, any more examples you guys want to share for like you know adjectives versus abstract noun so the list is huge but i want to give the chance to see to see if you guys want to share some of your own examples complete complete okay Okay. What is the equivalent? Uh, completeness. Completeness. Okay. State of being complete. Completeness. Completeness. Anything else? All right. So now we'll do um, the the Hindi version of all of them. Okay. Um, and then as. You guys have more examples. Feel free to share those. But let's go over the in the examples. So here you will have upset. Upset in Hindi is one word would be a pare parishan. Parishan. Very good, right? Parishan. Right? Parishan. so you will say main main parshan hu main parshan hu very good what is the equivalent abstract noun for that parshan very good parshani parshani and that would be an example feel free to change the subject don't use just me just use different usko pareshani hai usko pareshani hai what does it mean he is worried yeah he is worried right usko pareshani hai any questions on this one anyone Who's finding it hard so far? Feel free to raise your hand and ask questions because if you have it, most likely other people will have it as well. Uh, I'm, uh, Shuji, I'm guessing that it's not as easy as just adding I to the end of the word. Is, that would be that too is, many exceptions. That's right. That's okay. right. Right now, I think before the pattern, at least in your mind, have the distinction clear. Right. I mean, the state of being parishan is parishani. Right. So anything. And state or anything that is longer duration of of this adjective it becomes the state of that person right so that's what you you know and ko like muj ko usko ko mm -hmm. is is it's, it's happening to me that's to right i am the one recipient or the subject is the recipient of that emotion whether it is happiness sadness tiredness completeness clarity who has clarity the subject has the clarity right that's okay. how usko clarity hai yeah anyone else okay right let's keep going so this is clear right now let's talk about the other one which is the sad sad we learned about that which is udas 
Wow. Try to use it. Try to change the, the subject now. JDG, I know you joined late, so I'm not going to put you on spot. Let's see. Anita ji, Professor Anita. Um, wo udas hai. Wo udas hai. Okay. And the equivalent pair would be? Uh, usko udasi hai. Okay. Udasi. So you have U, the with A, and then C. Udasi. Okay. Usko udasi hai. Awesome. Let's do some more. Let's say you talk about sick or um, ill. Equivalent for ill would be in English would be illness. Illness, very good, right? So you will say for ill you would say bimar, and right? you will say bimar, okay? And you will have b with e and then mar, bimar, and your uh, abstract noun would be. Bimari. 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 Okay. Let's use some examples of it. Donna ji, you want to give some examples of Bimar and Bimari? Okay. Um, Try to use different subjects. Okay. Uh, two. Uh, okay. Bimar. Ho. Tum bimar ho. Okay. Or um, tujko bimari hai. Okay. Tujko kya bimari hai. Or aapko kya konsi bimari hai. Right. Which illness mm -hmm. you have. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Bimar versus bimari. Okay. Uh, the reason I'm saying it like, you know, if this is clear, next time I use these. Um, abstract noun or the parallel uh, adjective in the hindi paragraph it should just click you like why is it being used and how it is being used yeah right um let's say let's keep going and now we have i hope it's you know even though it's looking like you know i'm i'm assuming you guys are trying to find a pattern like how do if i have one how do i get the other sometimes it's easy sometimes it is not so initially it's just a like memorization a little bit but it will come to you okay so now let's do some different one so now we have a uh, disappoint uh, so you have disappointment versus disappointed right so i am disappointed uh, aiden do you happen to know the the hindi word for disappointed i do not okay so simply, disappointed who very good, right? That's what I was going to ask you. Like, simply you will say, my disappointed whom, okay? Uh, the word is, who would like to guess? It's a long word. Nirash. Okay, so now you will say, my... Aiden, in. My nirash whom. N, N. My nirash whom. My nirash whom, okay? And... The other word, the parallel word would be Mujko Nirash hai. So Nirasha. Nirashi. Ah. Nirasha. Okay. So the the, the origin is there is a uh, there is a asha in that word. Asha means hope. Right? And when you put ni or no sound like that, it's like the opposite of this word, asha, nirasha, disappointment. Okay. Uh, so, usko nirasha hai or mujhe nirasha hai. Okay. So, main nirashu versus mujhe nirasha hai. Yeah. Any questions? I know I'm, you know, going a little bit fast. So, let's take a pause here to see if you guys have any questions. I have a question. Yeah. Yeah, DG. Uh, why is it sometimes before you use like the feminine ending and now you're using the masculine ending? Which one? Which like, one? The ones before were all E ending in E. Which one? This one? Nirash, nirash versus Nirasha? Nirasha, you're using an A, an A. Like a oh, I see. And versus Bimar versus Bimari. Yes. That's an interesting observation. 
why isn't why isn't this nirashi nirashi oh that's that's a pretty interesting observation nirashi Bimar versus Bimari, okay. Uh, Kush versus Kushi, Duk versus Dukhi, um, Haran versus Harani. I mean, there is there is no uh, Nirasha, okay. There is no particular like. Uh, I mean, I can't think of anything at the moment to be quite honest with you. Like that is, but in case if something someone is able to has this like, you know, observation sorted out, please share your view, but I can't think of something that is distinct. Right? It was, yeah, I was, I was thinking it was gender. It looked like a, a masculine feminine kind of thing, but apparently it's not. Yeah, I need to look deeper into this one. Like I was, for me, I didn't even think about it as from the masculine and feminine person. I, is, really, yeah. Sorry, is Asha male or feminine? Which one? Asha, may, Asha, the word Asha in Hindi is feminine or masculine? Um, mujhe, um, is Asha masculine or feminine? Masculine, because we then don't use Nir Asha. Asha. That's why it is A rather than E. Which one? Why is it? What did you say? There Asha. is no Asha here. I mean, disappointment is Nir Asha without Asha. And yeah. that's why, if Asha is masculine, and then Nir Asha is also masculine. No? No, I don't think that is the case, but uh, I just guess. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else? No, no, I'm also like a JDG. I'm also thinking it's a Duki is always a feminine. Yeah. Nirasha is a masculine. So some of the wo wo words are masculine. So, 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 so I, Nirasha is a, say, I, I have to kind of like now whether it is. I'm also thinking out loud about Nirasha, whether I will put it into the masculine versus family. Like I will say Mujay Nirasha. Kushi is a feminine, isn't it? That is right. That's right. Kushi is feminine. Uh, so I don't know. That's what I was also. Yeah. Well, let's come back to that one. Like right oh. now, the, the distinction is at least have it clear. Like Nirash, if it's your adjective, your parallel abstract noun is Nirasha. Okay. Um, but I'll, I'll look into that one that the question that you brought up. Right. So now the next one is me. Happy would be JDG. Happy, Kush. happy. Kush. Yeah. Very good, right? So, main or main kush. Main, right, okay. Versus, what is Kush hai versus? Mujhe kushi hai. Okay. Mujhe kushi hai. Okay. Um, and I think that the other one you already know, which is sad and sadness. That would be, let's see, what's the logic? Um, duk, dukhi. Duk versus, awesome, dukhi. Okay, can you give an example? Try to use different subjects. Um, am duk nahi hai. Okay, what, what? Um, Ham, humko dukhi nahi hai. Okay, so I think this one will be interesting. This will again will throw you off, some of you off. Uh, so you will say, okay, um, uh, mujhe dukh hai, mujko, or maybe it would be like, you know, uh, uh, so so the, the, the way you will say is like, mujhe, mujko dukh hai, like, you know, uh, mujko dukh hai versus wo dukhi hai. That's how you will say it, like, vah dukhi hai, right? Ah. That's how Right, so I'm going to write an example. Vah dukhi hai. Vah dukhi hai. That's how you'll say it. Versus mujhe dukh. Mujhe dukh hai. Okay. Is it actually reversed? I think so. I think I reversed it. So maybe. Um, so sad and versus sadness. Right? I ha I'm sad. I am. Um, I am sad is my. Dukhi, yeah, we are right actually. I wrote it differently. Right, so Dukhi versus Dukh. Which ko Dukh hai. Very good. And then Mujhe uh, Khushi hai. I think that is correct. Main Dukhi hu. Okay. I'm sad. And then Mujhe Dukh hai. 
Yes. Any any questions on this one, guys? You can test it with the other uh, other uh, pronouns and nouns as well. Like John, बहुत दुखी है और मुझे दुख है कि John बहुत दुखी है. Yeah. Right. Any questions or thoughts on on this? Um, I'm just wondering if there's a a pattern to this, or if it's just under knowing which what the differences are. Yeah, it's unfortunately there's no one fix pattern on this one, right? It's just you have to learn through the concept, right? So that's um, and you can tell by now, like we have the ending of a lot of the. It's not like you know, like in English. At least you can tell that if it is ending with n e s s i t y. There is some pattern to it, okay. Uh, it's not going to always follow ness, happy, happiness, clear, clarity, gay, gaiety. It's not always going to follow it, but at least you know that there is some some commonality. In Hindi, there may be some commonality, but there is not like one fixed rule that you can say, okay, it's go I'm going to just put this thing on the on the adjective and it'll become like an abstract noun. Yeah? Is there? Yeah like flavor kind of difference to these two like if i say me kushun versus muje kushi he mm -hmm. like um are you using mostly the muje kushi he ki blah 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 mm -hmm. or, or or is it that you could also say me kushum ki blah 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 like they, they're the like the two are equivalent in terms of their their okay how so they I, feel so yes i can say it either way like for example i can say uh, for uh, if you ask me how are you okay um and may, i can also say mai khush hu ki agle hafte rupert snell professor rupert snell um aa rahe hain okay versus mujhe khushi hai ki uh, professor rupert snell agle week hindi university mein aayenge i can say it both ways so just totally equivalent there's no oh. kind of yeah. feel difference okay that's right all right, so let's keep going. I want to do this pair a little bit more. The next one I have is um, uh, tired. Like in English, you will say, I am tired. And as you can tell, the, in English, you have tiredness. So if you don't know the word, you will simply say, let's say who would like to do that. Uh, Anders. Ma'am. You can simply use the English word if you don't know it. Ma'am. Okay. Uh, Meeta ji. Uh, me thakki hu. Okay. Me thakka hu or me thakki hu. Awesome. So the word is thakka versus thakki. Okay, and versus here would be? Um, mujhe, is it thak lagta hai? Or is, or is it just mujhe thak hai? Okay, so it would be anyone else? Thakan. Very good, thakan. Okay, thakan. Okay. Thakan, right? Let's say you travel long distance and now you're like, mujhe bahut thakan hai. Right, thakan. Right? So, if you have a th, it's not the other one, th. With R and then Thakan. Okay, Mujhe Thakan hai. Um, exhausted versus exhaustion, right? Um, then you have um, the surprise. Same content, all that comes out of it. Series, not in the same way. Not in the same way, the last one. Okay. The next one I have is basically um, surprised. I am surprised. Surprised. Okay. I am surprised. My surprise do versus surprise. The word here is I'm gonna use is head on. Head on. There are many words, but like I'm gonna use this one. Head on. Head on. It would be who would like to use it? Daniel G. 
Fazer o Ai. Uh, me heran u. Very good. Okay, me heran u. Uh, and then? Uh, Muchko herani hai. Very good. Muje herani hai. Okay, say it one more time. Herani. Much, Muchko herani hai and okay. me herani u. So, I am versus Mujhe Hai Rani. So, split it out. It's like Rani and then Hai 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 Rani. Hai Rani. Hai Rani. Yes. Mujhe Hai Rani Hai. Okay. It's surprise, puzzled, perplexed, you know, anything that you can, in that line you can think of. Right? Mujhe Hai Rani Hai. Okay. Um, in all the examples, I use the to be form of the verb. You know, you can say them in the past. And in the future as well. Okay. Main heran tha. Okay. I was, you know, surprised. Okay. Uh, I will be, you know, I will be surprised. So, mujhe herani hogi. Okay. Um, I'll be perplexed if, you know, something doesn't happen next week. Mujhe herani hogi. Okay. Um, similarly, bimar versus bimari. Like, main wo bimar tha. Okay. Uh, usko I use the plural. Usse bahut thi. Right? So while I'm using it in, in the present context, I do want to all of you to think about it in, in other tenses as well. Um, that's sort of your homework exercise. Like try to use the tha, the thi, or try to use it in the future as well. Hogi. Okay, okay for the future. Okay. Um, now let's do some more and then. Now you have experience. Um, I am experienced or she is experienced. Let's say you want to say that, right? Experience. Experience. Okay. How will you say that? Who would like to try this one? Uh, let's see. Someone who has not tried it. Uh, uh, should I try? Yeah, go for it. Anubhavi. Anubhavi, very good. Anubhavi. Mm. And who is that? Aiden Ji or, or, or Anders? Anders. Anders, okay, Anders. Anubhavi. Give an example of it. Vaha um, Anubhavi hai. Vaha Anubhavi hai. Okay, Anubhav. Anubhav is experience, experience. So Vaha Anubhavi hai, he is experienced. And then Mujhe. Yeah, that's a difficult one. Uh -huh. so, uh, Ani Bhuvani. Anu? Nubhivani. Yes, Anu Bhav. Anu Bhavini. So, no, no, it's just yeah. Anu Bhavi. It's for, you know, for your adjective, Anu Bhavi. Vaha Anu Bhavi hai, usko. Anubhav hai. He has experience. Anubhav. He okay. has experience. That right? use anubhav hai. Okay. Um, use is cheech ka. He has experience on this is cheech ka. Okay. Anubhavi versus anubhav. Okay. Um, any questions or doubts? I know we ran, we, we ran through the list, but any questions so far, guys? So, Dukhi and uh, Anubhav are the exceptions to the rule, right? In this. Yeah, it looks yeah, like reversed. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Only two words, two words so far. Yes, yes. <laughs> to the point that even I wrote them interchangeably, the first one. So yeah. <laughs> Aiden, you're raising your hand. Um, so are generally Muchko and Muje or their equivalents like interchangeable in these right. formats? Yes. Yeah. I use Muje more commonly because it has embedded ko, so it comes more naturally to me, but you will see both Muji and Muchko. Any more questions? Anyone is not clear? Let's ask from people who joined for the first time and let's see what their what their Anubhav is, right? Uh, Arvindji? Is it hard, easy? You can unmute yourself and share your thoughts. 
right anyone would like to share more examples let's ask sheer sheer has been in india for many 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 years now by now sheer you are can you think of more examples that that you hear in the casual conversation in hindi in india you have shared so many examples like pushti ram aur rangin bhi use kar sakte hain hum which one wapas bolo ram 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 ha ha aur rangin okay rangin okay so what yeah rangin so rangin is you know uh, what is the english word for it colorful पेन का कलर so but anyway so the, the point is like you know if you don't remember anything you know think of is this way like for this the first one when you are using the uh, the uh, the adjectives think of it like you have your subject in the nominative case followed by your adjectives followed by the form of hona that's your first one when i'm using the adjective your subject Like you can usually say any any like you know Sheila okay Sheila Anubhavi hai okay um, subject in nominative case your adjective and whole noun versus when you are using abstract noun you have your subject plus ko Sheila ko and then your uh, your abstract noun Sheila ko Anubhav and then form of whole noun okay Sheila ko Anubhav hai. okay it has to agree so the first one basically in this one hona it has to agree with the subject okay versus where you have subject and ko it has to agree with the object okay so if you don't remember at least remember this part okay and then whenever you have in doubt at least have this pattern main hu versus mujhko hai and then try to fit in there it will also help you to understand whether it is uh, it's an uh, abstract noun versus an adjective okay because otherwise it can be confusing otherwise how will you know which one is which because if you're learning for the imagine me learning like you know a different language language french it can be like initially puzzling right i mean uh, english it's easy like sad sadness happy happiness you know clear clarity right but with the new language can be hard so you know you have to have certain rules around it so okay uh, any any questions before we move to the next topic last minute thoughts anyone i think couple of people raising your hand ashur ji yeah. mere ek sawal hai ah uh, please um this rang and rangin what yeah. is the the example for rangin is rang seems easy yeah you know yeah, yeah so i think in this case yeah in this case but rangin how do you use it like you know it's so the, the little bit different meaning right so rangin is like he's a colorful personality right it's so colorful like, yes like he is a um yeah. the exact word but he's a pretty uh, full of personality right so wo rangin in, like you know insaan hai okay versus rang huh. you will think you use it as like you know uh, it's just for color yeah. yes that's right yeah All yeah done. right awesome but right. while well, erase it um oh, i, I should i just yeah? want to but uh, are there any that are the same like i'm thinking of uljan confused like is is that the same me uljan hu versus mujhe uljan hai me uljan me hu 
ओके आई एम इन दैट यू नो मुझे 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 उलझन है मुझे उलझन है ओके वर्सेस मैं उलझन में हूं आई एम इन दैट यू नो स्टेट दैट्स सो वियर्ड बिकॉज़ आई ऑलवेज थिंक ऑफ लाइक द स्टेट ऑफ हैप्पीनेस कम्स टू मी वर्सेस आई एम हैप्पी एंड देन यस सो दिस इज अ गुड वर्ड राइट बिकॉज़ दिस इज कंफ्यूजन सो आई एम कंफ्यूज्ड अबाउट कंफ्यूजन यस एनीथिंग व्हिच इज शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन वर्सेस लॉन्गर ड्यूरेशन मे बी दैट्स आल्सो अ वन वे फॉर यू टू थिंक अबाउट लॉन्गर ड्यूरेशन Like when you are in longer duration of a state, like you know, मुझको दुख है, okay? Versus मैं दुखी हूँ, temporarily मैं दुखी हूँ, versus that's what I was asking about before. If there's some kind of flavor to it, I mean, sometimes it would be great for you to go over just the feelings because it seems yeah. like there's you know when to use, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like Hindi speakers, they don't go deeper into like if you ask like casually, like मुझे दुख है versus मैं दुखी हूँ. nobody they will use it interchangeably it's not going to be like me short term ke liye dukh dukh mujhe dukh hai versus main dukhi hu right so that's why it's it can be hard right you try asking people try asking the native speakers like you know and they'll they'll be like i just use it interchangeably <laughs> so i right. so i think um, i'm going to clear it up if there are more questions i'll take in the discussion um as far as the lecture is concerned i know this was um, i didn't ask any folks on the facebook but i hope you found it useful um for the second and the third thing that i wanted to cover in the class uh, you know it's i can i can ask actually here second thing i can cover it but uh, next week basically we have uh, as i said before professor rupert snell uh, you know he graciously agreed uh, uh, to to come to hindi university so i'm really excited that he'll be joining us next week for the discussion um, as you know he's one of the top one of the top linguist for the hindi language right i mean he has spent about 40 years in research you know he is uh, taught even at the uh, university of texas austin for many years like he joined as a guest lecturer but he retired as a professor emeritus right which is like the, the one of the highest status right so he'll be joining uh, you know uh, over zoom and um, i think it'll be great to have everyone all of you join and learn from him he's going to talk about his hindi language journey how he started what you know methods he used to practice and um, as you know we have covered his entire book so when i told him he was very happy and uh, um so i want you know if any of you are interested in asking questions directly which is what i really think will be useful like i'll be there i will start the conversation but i also want all of you to to participate so if any of you are excited to join and interested in asking question i put in the link on the tiny.cc so if you go to tiny.cc/hindiuniversity uh there is a link that says uh discussion with snell so it's a google doc feel free to ask or write any comments there about either you want to ask yourself or you want someone to ask on your behalf like so i don't mind doing both um but i definitely want um uh, all of you to join i think it'll be great so any questions from you guys on professor rupert snell anything that you that you want uh, you know us to cover next week um Ashutosh I think it would be really interesting to hear from him beyond just like the specific topics that he covers in his book but even his own process from learning the language from the beginner level to intermediate level to advanced and the you know the ways he prioritizes the different aspects of language learning because okay. I think it is so impressive to see you know foreigners who maybe had no background to hindi growing up being able to immerse themselves and become fluent because I think that's like at least pretty rare in my experience Yeah, yeah. Um, and Samantha ji, is that you? Sorry. Is that Samantha ji? You are asking, right? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. I, I, at least I recognize your voice now. So, um, are you are you comfortable asking this question, Samantha ji? Will you be there next week? Okay. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Then why don't you ask this question directly, right? So I think what I'm thinking in my mind is it'll be great to have some representation from different countries. Like he'll be very happy when I told him that you know, uh, you know. a lot of people from from different countries there he was he was he was honestly very pleased and he's very humble person he's like don't call me 
professor, just call me Rupert. I was like, it's hard yeah. for me, but he's like, no, just call me Rupert. I was like, okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I'll put in your name, Samantha Ji. Ask him this question. I asked him similar question. You know, his response was pretty good. Um, you know, he, uh, he used a lot of old school methods, which still works. And uh, he's like, I tapes to like, you know, the audio tapes. Uh, and that's what the recommendation was. But I want definitely you to ask this, this question. Um, okay. Maybe and, yes, either way is fine. I think one of the thing is like he was asking me whether he should cover things in pure Hindi versus uh, like, you know, both Hindi and English. I told him just go with the, you know, whatever you prefer. So he's not the purest in that sense, uh, Professor Snell. Mm -hmm. He he really assess where the other person is and then he speak Hindi at just that level, which is an awesome skill, right? You know, you don't want to just use heavy words just because you know it, right? So I, mm -hmm. I was I was pretty impressed with that. So if you want Hindi, then you can ask in Hindi. If you want to use English to ask questions, you know, you ask in English. Yeah? Oh. So Ashiji. The, yeah? Ashiji. I won't, I won't be there um, because I'm going to be in that training, but I just thought of, oh, if you could please ask him <laughs> for people who are English speakers about aspirate, how he, what, how he was able to uh, pronounce the aspirated consonants and those, especially the retroflex, you know, I know he has like the little tip in his book about doghouse, which, <laughs> yeah. you know, but if he had any, any suggestions around pronunciation, that would be great. I'll, I'll do that. If you can just put it in this document, um, Kelly G, I'll make sure to remember that. And you will see that like before we go next week in the class, you will see in this document, all the questions. I'll put the order as well. So all of you have a clarity uh, about the order and who's going to ask when, right? So I hope you guys can follow this. Uh, you know, if you go to tiny.cc, let me see. Ashu Yeah. I would like to, you know, like a Samantha Ji's uh, con continuation, I would like to ask, he's, okay, he's writing a book, uh, you know, from the basic to advanced level and things. When did he, how did he change that into talking skills? Like, you know, especially being a foreigner, how did he do that, manage to do that? That is... Like from switching from when, the level to a different level? No, no, when st start, you know, learning as grammar and other things, how did he manage to con convert into talking and uh, communicating with them? Oh, I see. I see. So was it like a two track process that let me first learn grammar, then let me. Speak yeah. First? How did what he manage to do all of it? You know, yeah. learning the grammar side of it, pronunciation side of it, reading and writing side of it. And then when did he become fluently talking and communicating with others? Is it a Okay. Gradual thing. Radhika, is it you, you want to ask him directly? Radhika ji, you want to ask him directly? Uh, I don't mind, but I would like to ask him in English only. I can't okay. ask this in English. That's fine. Ask in English. Why don't you ask him this question? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Anyone else interested in? Yes, this is I, this is I. Uh huh. Uh, I I I've been interested in language learning through. A podcast and there is um, a new trend you can check with Russian with Max is one of the examples and they, they use a lot of content and they specialize more in in listening skills than grammar I see and it would be interesting to have that um, that angel on, 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 on the question and also how to use internet because it's changed a lot during corona and there was a, a huge uh, uh, explosion in language learning by, by internet. Yeah. Yeah. You want to ask that? Andres? Yes, in, in, in English. Andres Andres. Andres. Yeah. Andres. So just if you can do me one favor, write it in that document in tiny.cc. See, sure. uh, just write down your name and the question. So that way, you know, when I ask you, you to be there. You know, sure. you will not be surprised, right? Aapko uh, uh, you know, um, and, and that way at least will be good. Okay. Anyone else? We have a couple of professors as well. I don't know if uh, Professor Claire will be there. Anita ji, Professor Anita, you want to ask any questions? Um, <clears throat> definitely, definitely. I'm very curious and I feel like we are meeting a celebrity. <laughs> so I'm excited for next Sunday. And I think I will just check the document and then maybe see what's missing. 
yeah. um, you know, and I'll definitely put myself there with a question. Yeah. yeah. What about folks in APAC, Australia Pacific region? We have, I think, one uh, uh, Teresa G requested it, right? So it'll be good if Teresa G is there. So as long as we have representation from across the globe, I think we'll be good. We have, you know, folks from multiple places. All right. So uh, any more more questions on this? Either you reach out to me, message me on on WhatsApp, so I can help brainstorm the question with you, or you can put it directly in that uh, document. I will also be checking it throughout the week, right? So that way we can crystallize the question. Okay. Last thing, um, it's too loud here. Okay, no worries, Samaji. The last thing I want to cover, and um, this is just for the purely the participants. So I'm going to stop the the broadcast. Um, but thanks, folks, who join on Facebook. Um, you should definitely join next week with you know our conversation with Professor Rupert Snell. Okay. Um, so I'm going to.